Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people. I'd like to welcome you all to the show, dealing with the issue of Kevin Hart, the comedian. Kevin Hart said that his dream job was to host the Academy Awards. Now, he landed that job. He was proud getting prepared, ready to to be the host of the up-and-coming Academy Awards. But recently, after two days of being uh, given a job, tweets start coming in over gay bashing, as they call it, or tweets that he said about the gay community back in. He stated that it was in 09, 010. He said, I'm a changed man. I don't think that way. I'm 40 years old, Um, you know. Hey, it is what it is. But he said, I already addressed those issues. I'm not going to keep, you know, I'm not going to be begging for y'all. And, you know, it is what it is. Maybe he stated that maybe he himself and the Academy Awards can uh, reunite and do it again at a later date or whatever. But people were upset saying he didn't go far enough in his apology and whatnot. But I'm, I'm confused at the fact that the gay community used, and, and I'm not saying used in a derogatory way. I'm saying they use it as a tool or as a benefit to their cause off of what blacks did in the Civil Rights Act. I even saw statements of gay civil rights. And they use that to push to get uh, benefits for themselves. But the thing that burns me up is when uh, Cindy Hyde Smith in Mississippi stated that she would go to a public hanging, that she'd be on the front row. Something as racial as that. I did not see the gay community coming out saying, thank you, Martin Luther King. Thank you, Malcolm X. Thank you, civil rights era and everyone who was involved in the civil rights. Thank all of you for giving us the direction to go as a gay community. And we will come after Cindy Hyde Smith And we will let it be known that anything of racism, which we stand on the back of, of your push to be equal citizens in America, we will fight alongside with black people. That's my take on the whole thing. Where were the gay community when all these racist acts and uh, church shootings and uh, things that Trump, the president, said, and you know, I, where 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 was the mass protest? You would protest something like the Academy Awards, but you won't protest against racism against the people who helped give you your civil rights as a gay community. It it, it don't add up to me. You pick and choose your fights, okay. We'll go after Kevin Hart because he stated that he didn't want his son to be gay. Well, come on, man. Throughout time, our fathers want their sons to follow in their footsteps. That's a natural. That's that's e- That's an easy one. You can go back to just pick a time. The son and the father, the father and the son. Me and my father are one. Come on, that's that's an easy one. What man doesn't want his son to follow in his footsteps? If he's not gay, he's not going to want his son to be gay. That's not a fight. That makes sense. He's not. That's not nothing derogatory or nothing. Why should a man apologize for wanting the, the his seed? And he, he, when when a man has a child, see, that's another thing. 
that's another thing. If you don't have children, don't speak on children issues. But when a man has a child, he paves the way in society so his son can follow in his footsteps. It's like a running back. It's like a blocker. It's like a running back following up, following his blocker, following his right tackle or his left guard. Similar to that, he's paving the way, creating a path for him so he can follow and he can have success later on in his uh, adult years. Why should a man apologize? He said, he stated that I don't want my son to be gay. That's not, that shouldn't hurt anybody's feelings. A lot of men, man, most, heteros- most heterosexual men don't want their son to be gay. Want their son to be like them. That's That's normal. That's a natural role. act. But back to where was the gay community and all this racism going on. When the civil rights gave, gave you a tool to fight your uh, fight, where's the thank you? Where's the, uh, the example? Where's the, when in Florida, don't monkey, monkey it up, where's the gay community like, hey, we're not going to tolerate racism? They helped us to get to where we at today. We showing some uh, gratitude and some courtesy towards the people who uh, paved the way for us. Well, where's the uh, we stand? We 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 will stand uh, on the side of you as you fight these cops shooting down young black men in America. Uh, E.J. Bradford shot down in a mall in Alabama three times in the back, from the back angle by a cop. Where the gay community throwing out the, the, the tweets and the Instagram posts and the Facebook posts stating that we're not tolerating this shit. Stop the racism. We wouldn't be where we at today as a gay community if it wasn't for black people. You don't see that nowhere. But but the Academy Awards, come on, man. Dick, you gonna protest a man from speaking at the Academy Awards? It's the Academy that's not a that's not nobody's getting hung because of the Academy Awards. You know, you see what I'm nobody's uh being denied access or having uh racist words spewed at them due to the Academy Awards. I'm just saying. It, it that one that one went a little bit too far. That man got a right to say he don't want his son to be gay. He got a right to say that if that's what he chooses to say and that's what he feels and that's his belief system and if he, like every other heterosexual male on the planet, wants their son to follow in their footsteps, if he's not gay, he doesn't want his son to be gay. That shouldn't be a hard one to understand. Verbal Pick Radio, we're out.